Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Climbing the ladder. My football manager 20. Journeyman save. Let me adjust my microphone there just a touch. A uh, couple of welcomes. Welcome to Gordon Bell. And I know I saw another one in here. Nogs360. Uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, so, oh, by the way, I'm an American. If I call it soccer, it's 52 years of, of habit for me. I still try to call it football all the time uh, because I do love the game. Uh, I am a fan of the game. and uh, But, you know, soccer may slip out every once in a while. So if it does, my apologies. <laughs> I know uh, the guy that made that comment, I know you were probably, I, I think you were just joking. I hope you were. But anyway, if it does come out as soccer, it's an accident. I will try to call it football. Uh, anyway, you can see I came back a little late. Sue me. Um, you know, I, it is what it is. Uh, we drew 2-2 with Elfsburg. Not a bad result, but, uh, you know, we'd like to get wins. But you can see we were up 2-0, 91st minute and 92nd minute goals. I was crushed. AIK, a nil-nil draw. They had a player sent off in the 90th minute. Very uh, uninspiring game. Brahma Pajama, we lost 1-0 to. They scored in the 6th minute. Um, we just played shit. Pison played a 6-2, um, and he missed a penalty kick. So, yeah, not happy about that. Halmia, a 2-2 draw. Carl Evans picked up a brace in a 3-minute span. Uh, Hawken, we lost 2-0. Uh, we just got, we actually played pretty well. If you look at the ratings, the keeper didn't, but we, we played pretty well. Uh, Carlsland uh, in the second round of the uh, Spenska Kupen. Uh, we won 2-0 Albin Gunners with a brace. And then we won 3-0 over Kalmar. Uh, Georgievic, uh, our midfielder with a goal, Paulison with a goal, and Selenius with a late stoppage time goal. So we're going to play uh, Orebro and Norcoping today. And then we'll jump to the season finale. Uh, we'll probably jump down to the season finales with Elfsburg and Hammerby. Um, August 25th. I'm trying to think if I signed anybody in that stretch. We loaned out a player. No big deal. Oh, yes, we did. Okay, so let, hold on. Let's see. We played Azure Gardens on the 18th of July. Hello. There we go. All right, so yes, Karsten Badge. We have sold him to Viborg for $8,250. We bid farewell to Karsten. Uh, I really liked him. He was one of my favorite players. But you can see he's only got a 50 rating uh, against our current squad. Uh, we had picked him up on a free back in 2057, uh, 2050 at the end of the year, 2058. He, he started 28 games, played very well. Uh, saw his playing time decrease a little bit, still played well. And then this year, only in seven matches, still continued to play well. Um, but just, was becoming less of a factor in the uh, in the squad and really only playing a reserve role uh, or filling in for injury. So we went ahead and moved him for a little bit of money. Uh, so good luck to him. We will definitely miss him. We loaned out Lars Sandstrom. And let's see. We did sign some more players. So coming in, we have Herbert Kostman joins us on a free uh, new goalkeeper. So he is going to be our starting keeper. He has started six games. He's allowed seven goals, two clean sheets. Uh, so won a match, won a match. And that's about what he averaged with Sandho uh, Sandhausen. Uh, I'm guessing, uh, Sandhausen, I'm guessing is how that's pronounced. Uh, but he's a 25-year-old German keeper, four-star potential. So looking forward to him. I think we did a good job getting him. Uh, we also picked up Cameron Clunan from Maidenhead United on a free. Uh, so he's a 21-year-old English center back. Uh, pretty solid physically. Five-star potential. Very determined. Positioning's good. Very aggressive anticipation. 10 plus in all three categories and we've all you know I've, I've made no bones swedish players don't want to mess up their hair and will not head the ball so we've got to get uh foreign 
uh, center backs. So it's just, I don't see any way around it. Uh, Harris Romick from Osters on a free comes in. Uh, he is a striker up top. And uh, he's got pace, acceleration, four and a half star potential. Uh, he's got composure, some anticipation, good decision making, off the ball movement, solid work rate for this level, 15 finishing and a decent first touch. Uh, he's only had one reserve appearance so far. 20 year old Swede. Uh, so he won't play a lot, I don't think now, but maybe down the road. Uh, Christopher Strom from Gothenburg on a loan. Uh, he is a left winger. This is what made uh, Badge uh, kind of expendable. Very pacey, four-star potential. Uh, only one-and-a-half star current, but he's a very exciting young prospect. Uh, 12 technique, seven first touch. He can free kick, crossing, dribbling. So he's going to be a pretty solid winger for us, uh, I believe. He's already started one match. He's not playing great, just a 6-5-5, but he is young. Olaf Lindback, we paid money for this guy, $120,000. Uh, so he comes to us from Helsingborg. He is a left back. It's 5'10", very, very good physicals once again, five-star potential, decent crossing and dribbling again for this level. First touch is a 10. He can actually play defense as well as moving forward. So pretty well-rounded guy. He is left-footed, pretty solid mentals. I think he is a really good player. And uh, he's already started a match and played a 6.9. Picked up a yellow card, so he's fitting right into the philosophy. <laughs> and uh, the last guy. This is a guy that we had, uh, we had scouted earlier. Uh, a couple of years ago, and I've kind of watched him bounce around. Uh, Daniel England, 25-year-old Swede. Uh, he can play striker, right wing, center mid, defensive mid. So he can fill a lot of roles. Um, pace, acceleration, four-star potential. Pretty solid across the board mentally. He can dribble, first touch, free kick taking. Passing is huge. So I see him definitely being a playmaker, either in the deep lying role, uh, in the midfield role, or, uh, you know, we're not going to play a number 10. He's not going to play up top, but, you know, he could even split out to the right wing if we need him out there. Uh, so he's got one match under his belt. So those are the new guys that are coming in. Uh, one of the questions asked, uh, two episodes ago. So I'm actually episode 26 is going up today, which is Saturday. So this episode that I'm recording now will go up on Monday. So I'm not too far ahead, just one episode right now. Uh, but the question was, you know, are you signing better players? Well, that was the transfer special episode. So, you know, you can see the guys we brought in there. And then, you know, I mean, we did. Albie Gunners, we paid 185000 for. We dropped some scratch. So, yeah, we have signed some better players. And now we brought in some even better players. If we take a quick look at the squad, based on current ability, there we go. I mean, you know, we've got four guys that are four-star, five-star potential on Gunners. But we've got a large chunk of guys that are at least three-star current ability, which we did not have before. We were playing a lot of guys that were, you know, that were two-star, two and a two and a quarter star, two and a half star. So the fact that we basically have an entire club now that's three-star or better, um, I think shows how far the club has come. Uh, we're still we're we're under the payroll budget uh, by about a hundred and ten thousand dollars. We still have a lot of transfer budget, but I'm pretty much done. I think you know we're we're pretty much done. So let's go ahead and get to today's match against the Raybro. Uh, hope you guys do have a good weekend. Well, I guess by the time you watch this on Monday, I hope you had a good weekend, right? And uh, let's see, Arebro sits fifth in the table. All right, we do have uh, Pallison's going to be back. Lindbaum, I'm still trying to sell him, uh, but he is uh, his match sharpness is in the tank. 
All right, we're at home. We are favored. We're fourth in the table. They're fifth. Oh, yeah, we didn't show you the table after all those games. So we're still sitting 33 points, still sitting uh, in the playoff spots. So, uh, Arebro, this will be, be a big matchup, I think. So let's go ahead and select the team. Don't know which tactic. I kind of want to use this tactic. We are favored. So let's go ahead and go up to, well, no, I'm going to stay cautious. That was something I had done. I had stayed cautious, uh, you know, against some of these teams. All right, so we've got uh, we've got Kostman now in the goal, Lindback and DuPont on the uh, defensive wings, Pallison and Dietert in the center, Georgievich in the uh, ball-winning midfielder, but he's a playmaker. He's on a support role. Gunner's in a support role. What's his attacking? Because he is scoring goals. You know, he's got an eight finishing. Uh, Coco on the left wing. He's finally back healthy uh, and, and starting to play a little bit. Larson on the right side. Pison and Selenius paired up top. Uh, we have Bailey. England hits the bench. Ramek, Clunan as well on the bench. Jacobson has moved to the bench. And Lindbaum. Uh, who does that leave us? Okay, Carl Evans is suspended. Harry Roche is injured, so that is uh, going to be some guys that can't, you know, that will probably be coming in. Thompson's at 88%. He's going to be a regular starter on the right wing. Larson's his reserve, so those guys are our typical starters. Gustafson's just not playing a lot. Uh, he is wanted. I think we ought to maybe, let's go ahead and transfer list him. Uh, he's valued at four four thousand four hundred. So let's oh not three point yeah let's see if we can get three point eight million that would be awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and ask four thousand and twenty percent. Let's ask for that. Uh, anybody else in there? Minari's on a fitness issue. He's only three star potential. And you can see, you know, now he used to be our starting left back, remember? And now he's only fourth choice. So let's go ahead and trans offer him out to clubs as well. Uh, in fact, he's making 67. I'm going to drop my request to 4,020% for him. And here's uh, Victor. Yeah, Victor's another guy that can't seem to really get although he should be starting why is he not starting oh you know why he's not starting because of the homegrown thing i think that's why um clunan yeah we need him bailey tell you what i'm gonna pull bailey off and put victor on and then i want victor to start all right. Good. So I did try to sign a couple more Swedish players. I'm getting the German goalkeeper. I knew was going to be an issue just because, you know, now one less, but he was, he was a pretty solid goalkeeper. And I, I was looking to really shore up some positions where we, where we could. All right. We're in the orange, of course. I'm actually looking forward to switching teams just to have a different kit. It's, oh, there's a little flick over by, by our new keeper, Costman. Sets up a corner. Oh, good save. Solid hands by the German. I'm listening. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background. I'm just listening to the cats growling at each other. All right, let's get creative because we're not doing well here. This isn't our normal tactic. We usually play the 4-1-4-1 with the defensive midfielder. Ooh. That was that was a dangerous ball. Victor's already down to 70. Maybe that's why he wasn't playing. I didn't even think to look at that. I just assumed he was uh, not in the... Uh, Hmm. That's probably why he wasn't in the rotation. 
Uh, yeah, let's get uh, let's get aggressive. We owe them. Everybody's playing semi well. I really want to try to play this tactic just so we can develop it and get better at it. Oh, nice header. Victor with the clearance. Good job. Anderson brings it right back over the top. Oh, what a save. Good save by Kostman. He's on a seven with a couple of saves. All right, let's demand more. All right, lay it all the way back to their keeper. Come on, flub it. Flub it. Hello? No? Oh, nice header to a teammate. It's always impressive when you see that. Oh, there's a... Oh, thought we had a shot at a ball there. All right, we ping it back. Coco, through ball. Selenius is on it. Oh, good save. Thought we had a shot there. It was a good ball from Coco. All right, Gunners is going to line up for the corner. He plays it in near post. Oh, Zorjevic gets there. Out to Pallison. And nothing transpires. Kossman comes out and makes a diving save. Very aggressive. Like to see that. All right. Throws it out to Dieter. Up to Gunners in the mid. Coco. Oh, Dieter too heavy a pass back. Dieter can't control it. Good tackle by Dieter. Oh, we had two guys on him and he still got a header away. All right, let's pause. So we're being outshot. All right, so first thing I want to do is let's go here. Here. All right. Python or Selenius. I'm going to go. I'm going to move. I'm going to keep Selenius up top. That means we're going to bring Pison off. Let's bring Jacobson on. In the mid. And then Victor. For DuPont. Get some fresh legs on that back line. All right. Show some passion. Get get 10 minutes of fired up. All right, deep into the box. Was there a foul? Yes. Oh, penalty. All right, who's taking it? Coco. Oh, he slots it home with that left peg. Second goal of the season. Spots us out to a one nothing lead. Minutes after we make the tactical change. Looking good there. Looking good. All right, let's give him some praise. All right, now if our defense can just put, keep some pressure on him. Oh, taken away. Gunners cuts it inside. He takes a shot. Ingle Brexton. Wow, that's a that's a name. Ingle Brexton. All right, another deep throw into the box. Oh, Selenius just offsides. He found the near post. Was he offsides? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was offsides. How did I not see that? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go with the two subs here. If we can hold off the... Oh, man. Ah, oh, first goal of the season. All right, damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, all right, Gunners, I'm going to move Gunners up top. And we're going to bring Daniel England on for his debut. I think it's his debut. 
It's his YouTube debut. That's horrible. Push forward. Nothing. Three chances to one. We really came back with the new tactic. Oh, that's brutal. And that's the kind of goals that we're giving up is these late, stupid-looking goals. Uh, I can sympathize with them. We should have won, but still. We still have a match in hand here, too. So even though we drew, we've got two points on them. We've got a match in hand, so a draw puts us three up. A win puts us four up with that game in hand. Now, of course, the teams at the top of the table have a lot of games in hand. We're not worried about them. I'd like to be able to catch Elfsburg to stay in the top three, you know, to, to definitively stay in the top four. Denied by a late goal. Uh, Minari, let's see, we asked for 4000 and they want us to pay half his salary. But we'll get 4000 We'll give 3000 of that back technically by paying his wages. We'll get 20% of his next sale. And we'll cut 67000 a year off. It's not the best deal. I hate the selling team contribution. But other than that, they gave me what I wanted. So we'll go ahead and accept that. All right, guys. Well, we'll be back for the next match here in just a second. All right, we're back. Uh, we just had our youth intake. Mm, not great. Not great. I mean, you know, there's some decent, you know, decent mid-level below talent. But uh, this appears to be our top guy right now, Gustav Pedersen. Uh, right and left. Can't head the ball. Won't mess up his hair. Got too much product in it. Probably would break if he headed it. Luckily, he doesn't play center back, though. He plays right and left. He's on the verge of having, you know, average pace. He could be worse. He can actually cross and dribble. So, yeah. But he, you know, nobody's stellar. Nobody's stellar whatsoever. We actually have a Bulgarian, Nikola Gamakov. Central mid. First touch. Passing. Yeah, the pace is not there. Yeah, not uh yeah, not not uh not too impressed. So we've had about a two week layoff now. I did schedule a friendly just over the midway point just to try to get everybody keep everybody fit. Um so we won we won that friendly five nil. Uh not, uh, you know, no big deal. Uh, we did fall. Uh, no, we're still fourth, so 34 points. Now we've got two in hand on Elfsburg. Hammerby and AIK both played. Uh, so they still have one in hand on us. So anyway. Uh, oh, we did make another sale in the uh, interim. couple of sales, actually. Uh, Minari went to uh, Leon's. Uh, you, you saw that at the end of last match. Uh, Ivar Holst went to Jean Dalen uh, for potentially four thousand seven hundred dollars. So uh, he has gone. No other signings for us. I'm, pro I'm probably done with signings. To be fair, uh, let's see. We are in uh, inconsistent form. They're in decent form. The difference is the one loss to a draw. Uh, we are road underdogs. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this one in a cautious footing. All right, Gunners will be up top. We did lose Pison to an injury. Uh, he got hurt in training, pulled a calf muscle, and he'll be out for three weeks. So he just got hurt uh, the other day uh, after the friendly. So that's uh, disappointing. Victor and Pallison are suspended for this match with uh, yellow cards. So let's see. DuPont, Bailey, Dietert, Lindback, Jordevich, Coco, Evans is back in. Thompson's back in. Gunners moves up into the striker role. And that's not a bad thing. He's got, uh, you know, he's got some goals in him and he plays well. 
uh, 7.16 rating. So we do have two people retiring at the end of the season. Richardson, our former keeper, starting keeper, now our reserve. I do have him transfer list, and nobody's going to sign him with him announcing his retirement, I suppose. Let me double check. Testing. Yep. All right. Uh, I had muted my microphone while I was moving ahead. I wanted to make sure it was back on. All right. Let's get to it. A little flick on header, but nobody was there. All right, DuPont controls that. Finds Coco on a crossing pass. Squared in, a header by Thompson, and it's off target. No danger at all. First shot of the game, off target. All right, Lynn back. Evans. Back to Lynn back. Crossed over. Oh, nice little hit. Gunners finds it. Back to Thompson. Some good ball movement. Oh, Gunners, nice header back to Evans. I think we're really dangerous with Evans and Georgievich in the uh, mid because both of them are very good passers. Oh, there's a ping. What a shot by Evans. Oh, eighth goal of the season. He just picked that out. Wow. Really wasn't expecting him to take a ping from there, but that's a, that's a nice goal there, fellas. Pretty happy with that. 1-0. All right, we are playing in a cautious stance. I really want to develop this tactic a little bit to where we're more comfortable. All right, there's a blazing shot that's off target. I've got my championship matches up on uh, ESPN Plus going on over here. Uh, let's praise. Uh, Blackburn is beating uh brentwood 2-0 which is a good result for leeds all right a header oh good hustle to go after that ball so he finds nalwako oh what a save by costman i thought bjork was gonna get get ahead on that ball costman just came flying out of the net Nice, nice ball. All right, Dieter. No, we lose it in the midfield. Come on, defense. Be solid. Oh, come on. He had to have been off sides. Kostman tried to come out and play the ball. He was aggressive going after it, but Bjork was off sides. I believe the I believe the official. <laughs> Dupont uh, picks Gunners out in a soft zone. Oh, he lays it through. Thompson makes the run onto it. Lays it off to Georgievich. Uh, the two midfielders partnering up on some back and forth passing. Evans with a ping, and Coco drills it past the keeper to the far post. 2-0 over North Coping. Oh, that is huge. Huge. A second goal before the half. Oh, my goodness. Five shots, four on target, and two goals. Very, very happy. Uh, let's see. We do appreciate your efforts. You, you know the drill. Everybody's playing pretty well. Costman is complacent. Ooh, that was a header. He didn't even make a move there. Uh, d -d 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 show some passion. See if we can keep him fired up. All right, Evans. A little poke away. 
Gunners knocks it out. I think that was Gunners back there. No, it was DuPont. All right, DuPont. Oh, he finds Gunners. Gunners with a brilliant through ball to Selenius. We just can't make it easy on ourselves, can we? All right. Um, all right, DuPont. I can move Dietert outside. If I do that, I do have Clunan. Let's do that. I had Tarpy as well, but yeah. Clunan, I think, is going to be a better center back. Uh, let's go ahead and pull off um, Thompson as well. And let's bring on Christian Larson. This is kind of where, you know, when, when a save starts to get fun, when, when you start having your previous starters that are now your backups and reserves. Uh, ooh, Manerstrad. Good save by Kostman. Boy, he had some pace on him. A little bit of blitz of acceleration. All right. Uh, tighten up because they're... All right. I want to go into tactics. And let's do some time wasting. There we go. Right, and let's do a time-wasting sub. Selenius for... Well, actually, no. Let's do Coco. I don't have anybody that can play mid-left right now, but England can play mid-right. I mean, it's the same position, just on the other side. And he does have a little bit of skill at the attacking. So, yeah, I mean, it's not like he doesn't know what to do over there. Did Brentwood just score? That's not good. Oh, there's a nice clearance. That's too bad. Oh, no! <sighs> Off the woodwork. Show some passion down the stretch. Oh, that's a huge win for us. Carl Evans and Coco with the goals. We were dominated. We were dominated, but we put five of seven on target. Three chances to zero created. Controlled possession. Very, very nice. I'm gonna that's that was really special. Yep, really special. All right. So that builds a four-point advantage. Still a game in hand over Arebro who drew their last game. Nor coping. Boy, they were top of the table uh, just last season, weren't they? All right. That gets us within three points, but, well, yeah, but they have two in hand. So, nope. That gets us within two points of Elfsburg, I believe. Let's come back for the season finale against Elfsburg and Hammerby. We play Hammerby twice. What's our run in? So Hammerby is top of the table. Angle Holmes is seventh. And they're, they're typically a top four team. Skavd is bottom of the table. Malmo is sixth, so just behind us. Sunsball is eighth, mid table. Team TG, 11th. Elsberg, third. And then Hammerby, first. We're not going to beat Hammerby either one, but Elsberg. Definitely want to, you know, that could be that could be for third position. So, guys, I am going to get get this cranked out, and uh, we're going to play these games. I'll probably try to get these all done today, uh, and then get this recorded later today, uh, probably after the Leeds match because they play they play in less than an hour. So yeah, there's no way I'm going to get all these played and then uh, and then still do that. But uh, anyway. Thanks for watching. I think a couple of good results. Well, the friendly, but a 1-1 draw. You know, we can live with that. And then a huge 2-0 win. Very happy with that. Guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And we will see you next time. Take care. Bye.